Mending Mistakes If you place something in the wrong place, you can remove it with a dynamite tool. The rail, signal, road, and station tools can be used with the remove function, hotkey R, in order to remove specific tiles only. Networking Point-to-point -point rail networks are a poor use of your assets and capital, aside from transfers, which I will cover later. Networks combine your entire rail line so that every train can reach every station that you build. Signals and Stations Signals are the building blocks of a network. They allow multiple trains to operate on a set of rails. Use the signal tool, hotkey S, to place a signal. If you hold control while placing a signal, you get a semaphore. Clicking on it with the signal tool will make it switch sides of the track. Using the signal tool and control clicking on a signal will make it change signal type. The first signal you will get is the block signal, which is used for main lines. The second signal you will get is the entry signal, used for station or junction entrances. The third is the exit signal, used for station platforms. The fourth is the combo signal, used with the entry and exit signals. The fifth is the path signal, essential in places where multiple paths are possible. The sixth is the one-way path signal, which is the same as path but one way. Here is a basic use of signals, allowing two trains to run on the same track. Making an upstream and a downstream one-way track allows for a street-like function. In order to quickly signal your line, you can drag the signal tool. Start on a pre-existing signal and hold left click and drag. Holding control while doing this will cause it to auto-signal the entire line until it reaches a break in the line. This rail system is known as 1x1. One one. Two downstream and two upstream would be known as 2x2 two two and so on. There are three types of stations. Row Row Stations Roll-in, roll-out stations, or row-row stations, allow trains to enter a station from one side and exit from the other. Row-row stations must have pre-signals in front of them and block signals after them. They can also use a single one-way path signal in front instead of an entry and exit signals. Terminus stations. Terminus stations allow trains to enter and exit from the same side. Each platform a station possesses will allow it to hold an additional train. Pre-signals are needed before stations for trains to enter correctly. Entry and exit signals can accomplish this well. The entry signal will remain green, allowing a train to pass, as long as there are green exit signals beyond it. This allows each station platform to load a train while restricting access to the station when it is full. The combo signal can be used to increase the efficiency of this process. The path signal can also be used in place of the exit and entry signals. Hub stations. Hub stations consist of stations that accept and provide the same cargo at the same station. These stations rely on feeders to get their cargo. Hub networks are more efficient because trains will always travel down the main line full, instead of being empty half the time. This is also known as dual hauling. Junctions a network is all tied together with a backbone or mainline. Junctions allow you to add on more stations to the network without building a new line entirely. This is the simplest junction, allowing a train to switch to another track. Interfering junctions cross over the mainline and can cause delays. Path signals are recommended when using these types of junctions. Non-interfering junctions are more effective because they do not disturb mainline traffic as it passes. Tunnels or bridges can be used to make the junctions non-interfering. Tunnels are recommended because they do not have speed limits. This is the most effective junction for a 1x1 rail network which allows trains to choose from two directions from each rail. Here is how to build it. Transfers 
You can use transfers to increase the amount of raw materials that are at one central loading station or hub. Transfers are often simple point-to-point -point lines that are completely separate from the rest of your network. Transfer drop-off stations must be a part of the station you want to increase the amount of raw materials at. You can hold control while building a station to get options on station building. When routing the train, use the transfer and leave empty order on the drop-off station so it will behave properly. Converting Rail You can use the Convert Rail tool to convert rail into other rail types, which grants access to better trains. While converting a whole network, it is a good idea to send all of your trains to a depot so that all of the rails will be converted. Note that when converting from rail to monorail or maglev, you must rebuild all of your trains. Special Tactics Towns grow when they have five or more used stations in them. The easiest way to grow a town is with buses. If you're in the subarctic climate, you'll have to supply towns with food. In subtropical towns, require food and water. Goods will help a town grow, but are not essential. Priority depots can be used to ensure that mainline traffic will not be interrupted from trains that are using depots. You can change what cargo is held by a vehicle by hitting the refit cargo button. This is essential in new graph packages like ECS. Engines can be replaced by using the replace engine button in the vehicle menu. You can even select to remove a train car from a consist if upgrading to a two engine train. Canal bridges can be constructed if the server you are playing on restricts landscaping.